Imagine this, that you are currently on this website of Amazon.com and you're looking at the books section of all the books that have been released in the last 30 days. And it has a lot of books in this section and for some reason you want the title of the book and maybe the author name of the book and uh, yes, even the pricing of the book and you want to store all of the data inside this section, inside some kind of a file, maybe on your external drive or maybe even in some kind of a database like SQL. So what you do is you create a Python program using a package known as Scrappy. And this is what your program kind of looks like. And to execute this program, you just open up your terminal, you go inside your project folder and you just write Scrappy, crawl, and then you just write the name of what you want to crawl. So I just gonna write uh, Amazon. And then you want to store all of the scraped data inside a JSON file. So I'm just gonna give it a tag of minus O and name of the file where I want all the data to be stored. So I'm just gonna call it items.json and I'm just gonna press enter and it's gonna fail a couple of times because we are using proxies as Amazon doesn't allow a lot of uh, bot stuff inside uh, its website, on its website. So now we can just refresh our scrappy uh, project folder and open up items.json. And as you can see in the product name, it has all of the name of the books. And if we scroll a little bit on the right hand side somewhere over here, and we can just press enter over here. As you can see, it gives us the product name and the product price over here. So the becoming title has a price of $19 and the home body, a guide to creating spaces has a price of $22. And uh, similarly of, uh, of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, we have the pricing of somewhere around $20. So if we go back to our website, you can see that the becoming is of $19.50. I'm just extracting the data of $19 and not of the 50 cents. And it's pretty easy to do. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. But as you can see, it's currently working. And similarly of home body, it's about $20. And if we go back to our file, as you can see, it's of $22. So this whole process and this idea of extracting data from a website or multiple websites is known as web scraping. And uh, the Python program that we are using to scrape this data is known as a spider, as you can see over here. And sometimes this web scraping is also known as web crawling. So what we have done over here is that we have created this Python program which uses a package called Scrappy and this Python program is known as a spider. So basically we have created a spider that takes all of the information inside this web page and it sends it to this JSON file over here. Obviously this data could be sent to another database like SQL etc. So this is basically web scraping and the idea of a spider. In the next video, we are going to be installing Python and this uh, IDE. You don't need this PyCharm IDE. You can install something like Sublime, etc., or maybe Atom. But we are going to go through that in the next video where we will be installing Scrappy, basically. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.